everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and today I'm going to make kind of a detailed batch. It's going to be three actual soap batches to create one soap. Lots of colors. This is part of our rainbow extravaganza. And the first part I'm going to do is the base layer. Now this I'm calling serendipity. It's a mixture of chocolate and um, mint, kind of rosemary mint, which Rosemary mint can actually smell an awful lot like uh, Andy's mint. So let me get some of this going here. I have my coconut milk in already. It's just a very small batch. I do want to go ahead and get some brown color in there. This is going to discolor quite darkly, but sometimes it can get a little bit mottled, so I just want to go ahead and get that colored. And I like to add the dry mica in with just the oils. My inspiration for this batch came from Instagram and I will try to get the picture up there or leave a link or something but it was a, like a chocolate ice cream sandwich but in the middle was rainbow. I thought well that's fun I can do that. So the the chocolate layers are going to be scented in a chocolate mint and then the inside will be the rosemary mint because I don't want it to discolor. Most bakery or sweet or vanilla type fragrances will discolor. That's just due to the vanillin. So it's just a cute little thing of my lace solution here. fragrance oil so you can see it's kind of amber colored so that is often a sign that there's quite a bit of um, vanilla in the fragrance <laughs> smells so good it smells just like an Andy's mint now this is a really large mold this is pretty much my largest mold but since I'm cutting um, short bars instead of going up they'll be flat that I'll be cutting kind of like I do with leather and lace it needs to be really thin so that it will spread all the way out so it's not in a trace but it's almost there all right so here we go so this is a great consistency and the reason why I do it in multiple batches is because I want this to have time to set up. I need to pour it thin, but then I need it to set up. So that allows me to just kind of move on and do other things. This can get good and hard, and then I don't have to worry about my next layer falling in. And then also, the next layer has not been sitting and waiting and possibly accelerating further. So that's why I'm going to do it this way. And I will come back for the next part. Okay, so I'm back for the middle layer. Coconut milk is in again. Add in the lye solution. I do want the colors just to be slightly uh, lightened, so I'm just going to put in a spoonful of titanium dioxide. Alright, so I need time to work with it, so I'm just emulsifying. Let's 
see how much is in this picture right now. About 3,500. So let's see. My pictures are going to be a bit large for this situation, but it's what I had. So just going to put in a little bit. I'm having a hard time actually seeing the lines from here. Let's see, that one ended up being, let's do the 500. I can kind of see that line from here. That one's right at. It is hard to see the it's hard to see the lines. Oop. Okay. Let's see if that's about the even. Alright, I can I can look at the bigger the bigger number. 0.5. I have so many rainbow soaps and everything going on that everything's starting to get a little cluttered around here. Starting to run out of space. Okay. So, I'm just going to pour a little bit more into each one and then I will scrape this big pitcher and come back to do the colors. I have some of the colors mixed with, with the batch oils. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in and we will fragrance momentarily. This is looking okay. It's thick enough that it's still pourable, but it's going to kind of maintain its position without muddying too much. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of scraping. That's the part that takes the longest. By avoiding the spout then I don't have to clean that part out. This had <laughs> light bulb. This green is a little, little ugly at the moment, but you know, most people know by now if we watched my videos that the green does come back. This is part of its reaction to the lie. So the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I feel like it would give it a better kind of more even swirl through the bars. The only part you're going to be seeing the rainbow is in the sides because the kind of the faces of the bars, the bottom and the top, will be the chocolate color. 
until you wear that down in use, of course. But I want it to have a really nice swirl. So this is just super beautiful. I love how it looks all mixed up like that. It's thick enough that it's not really getting um, muddied up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this poured in. And this is pretty solid. I'm hoping it does not go through. You know, I could use my flooding spatula. I think it's plenty thick, but I just don't want to risk it. So we're just going to kind of, yeah, it's fine. Get that out of the way. All right, so I kind of need to just pour a little bit. Looks like it was really kind of getting to an ornery thickness in there where it would have really benefited from a swirl, or stir, I shouldn't say a swirl. I'm looking at this thing and woo, this is pretty. So most of the purple did uh, kind of get over here. So that's unfortunate, I wasn't thinking that through very well. Either way, it'll be a delightful swirl. So I'm just going to clean off this little spatula. And then I have some pink and stuff down in here still, so I'm just gonna cut gently Oop. on the edge apparently. I'm gonna pour it on the edge. Now this is gonna be covered up. When I scrape out the pitcher, I don't really want to get too much into mixing those colors together. So I still have to be Super careful. I'm hoping I can still smack this down. I don't want to have to smooth it out. It's not my favorite job in the world. Okay. So I'm just gonna clean off these edges a little bit so they don't have too much of like a real thin color sticking up on the edges because the edges are going to have to be the actual edges of the soap with minimal planing so I don't want to have too much of that excess on the side that we've got to get through to get to the really nice design so I'm gonna let this sit for a while before I come along and do the top brown layer Okay, so I got all cleaned up from that middle batch. I have my coconut milk in there again and we're just doing the same thing as the bottom. I still want this to be nice and smooth on top, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it quite thin again. Oop, it is popping through. So what this does, it just keeps the main pressure from the pour spout from really punching down through that um, layer that we're pouring on. I'm go ahead and get that smoothed out. <laughs> and all the beautiful is gone. <laughs> I have a plan. Okay, so I was gonna do a little bit of a multicolored drizzle on the top, 
but I got to thinking that the vanillin in this layer was probably going to seep up into the drizzle and then it just wouldn't really pan out. So I've mixed together some of these um, chunky biodegradable glitters. There's not much in there because I don't need, need much. I also didn't want to do, wow that's pretty. I also didn't want to do sprinkles because the sprinkles can often bleed into the surrounding soap. Whoa, I like where, kind of like where I'm going with this one. I did not realize though I had so much in my fingertip pinched. That's really pretty. That actually looks quite nice. So I'm really good with this. This is, this is really pretty. I'm no longer allowed to use this glitter on regular soap bars because they drag down in so bad and just they fall off and trying to plane the bars it just it kind of becomes a pain so I was forbidden from using this this glitter on my regular soap soap tops because my husband's the one who he cleans all the soaps and just the little bits would get caught up in my in the planer and just drag so that's why I don't use them anymore, but it is sure pretty, but we're gonna be cutting a little bit different on this one. So, I'm kinda concerned about ashing. Um, I'm probably, there's some stars in here too. I'm gonna spray it really liberally with alcohol. And I'm gonna cover it to push it through a gel. Um, and then probably just leave it pretty covered up for several days. That seems to be the most helpful thing for me. Just don't overdo it on the getting it out to cut it. Okay, I think I better quit. That's plenty as is. So, I guess we'll just see how it goes. I'll see you back here for the cut. I am back to cut the serendipity soaps. I have gotten just a little bit of bleeding from the dark chocolate fragrance, the vanilla in the fragrance. But I think it's all right. Not gonna be concerned about it. So let's see. I'm kind of this is a this is a big cutter here. Let's go. Let's go like that. So the first thing I want to do is just take off an end piece. So this is my loaf splitter and my single cutter does not allow for a lot of length to the right of the wire, so that's why I have to use this one to make these simple little cuts. I love how this glitter ended up on the top. Okay, this is a, this is a bit of a problem. I'm having a hard time functioning here. Can we kind of do it at an angle? Will you be okay if I do it at an angle here? So I want these to be about three and a half. All right, let's take a gander at this. I'm having a hard time seeing my monitor. So there we have the first bar. That just looks so good. I suspect this is going to be a bit of a brown soap in use. Because that's just a really dark discoloration. It smells amazing. It just has the best scent ever. I love it. This chocolate. Just a lovely chocolate mint. So I'm cutting these at three and a half. So they'll fit in my soap boxes. And I won't have to plane these, which will be nice. I feel like I've done something, I've, I've gone awry in some way here. Because this is not big enough here at the end. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess I cut, oh, you know why. Because I already cut these. That's why. Oh goodness gracious. Well, that bar might be for me. So 
that's what happened. So we got this cutter from Smith Creek Studio and I love it. About the only way it could be improved is if I had multiple wires on it. So it looks like it's still just a hint too big. So just cut that little guy off. Sure wish I could just tack him onto this other one. Oh well. I need one to try out anyway, so it'll work out. It'll be fine. It's been so long since I cleaned these up to even take pictures that I just didn't even remember. 2020's been a bit of a wild year, don't you think? It's a wonder we aren't all crazy at this point. Golly. Okay, so here we have it. And this one ended up with quite a bit of glitter on the top. Isn't that pretty? Look at it shine in the light. I love this glitter. And it looks super good on a really dark top. So here we have the ice cream sandwich inspired chocolate mint soap. And I'll see you back for the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.